Norm. How are we doing? Uh, my name is uh, Roman Villarreal. And uh, what we're doing here today on November the 9th, uh, 2012, before the end of the world, is to kind of have an introduction here to the, on the south east side of Chicago. What, it, what we have here is a, really an interesting collection and collaboration of uh, quite a few artists from the city of Chicago and Indiana. How this came about is that basically we've been looking for a space for quite a while on this particular side of the city. We've been showing a lot successfully in Pilsen, Northside, Indiana. Indiana's coming along really, really well. But we were lacking here. For a long time I've been putting our efforts in other places, so it's about time that we started putting a little bit more effort here on the southeast side in South Chicago. And this is, well, primarily this was basically going to be just a studio, per se. But when I first got here, I was talking over to my wife, Maria, Maria Villarreal, who's also a fellow artist, you know, that, and on my part it was a whim, I said, tired of thinking, I said, wow, we're always talking about doing something for South Chicago, since we have the space, let's just go all the way and have a show, and introduce everybody. I had just got through done with the Pilsen Walk, and when I got through with uh, uh, there, I was asking all the artists, hey man, what, what? everybody wants to come to South Chicago, everybody. So that was very inspirational to us, very inspirational. So that gave us more of an incentive to really try to do this. What we're hoping happens here is if the right people in the community see that uh, just, a, just a small portion of what we're doing, because this is just a small, small piece of the big picture. I mean, this is nothing, nothing. Because any one of these group of artists here behind me and around in the room can actually fill the room by themselves. That's how much everybody has uh, the, in the time frame. So what we're hoping happens here is that if not necessarily this building, but another spot somewhere close by so that the momentum doesn't stop. What we need here, very important, and we've been discussing it for many, many years, is a cultural center slash art gallery. Art gallery is important to the artist because even a young artist, someplace where you could put your work, people will see it and develop a market for it. That's very, very important for all artists and young artists as we're progressing. And the beauty of it, what's happening now in the arts, that I think is the most greatest thing that's going on, the momentum is changing. There was a period in our lives when we had to go knocking on doors and people would put, put you on the side, oh, we're not here, this and that. You know, trying to get in, our foot into the door as the artist. Now, it's a reversal. Now, they're actually looking for us. So, the change now is toward the, to the arts in a big way. To change uh, what's going on in the community, because every artist here participating somehow or another shares with their community in one form or another. Teaching, mentoring, uh, and, and different levels. But everybody here does cooperate with the community, their immediate community. How did this building become available then? What happened? Well, how this building became available, we sp I spoke to uh, Yolanda Dianda, who is, I believe, Chamber of Commerce here in the southeast side. And it was a very uh, simple talk. Me and her got together and she was telling me, uh, Roman, how you been doing? And I told her for the longest I've been trying to make my move in South Chicago. Hey. And we got to talk and this and that. And then I told her real quickly, uh, you know, and she goes, well, what's the problem? What are you, what's going on? He goes, well, I need this. He goes, I have four buildings. She goes, come look at mine. So I said, well, fine. So I went and looked at a building on 94th and Ewing and I came over here. And uh, the one in 94th really works for me because it's more uh, rougher looking. So you really don't have to worry about messing up the floor, because the painter, you really don't want to really, because you really want to just get comfortable, and comfortable means you're kind of messy. So this is a little bit nicer, and I would prefer a more messier space where I don't have to get charged for anything if I goof off the floor or something. Kind of like, like your warehouse. Yeah, there you go, yeah, there you yeah. go. But, uh, but for now, for what I'm getting ready to do, I think this is the perfect space, because like I said in the beginning, this was actually started off as just a plain studio. I just wanted to work on this new body of work. But uh, we can't forget the most important thing is our contribution to the community, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're trying to uh, help in any, any manner we can, any manner that we can, and uh, promote the arts. And I love the fact that uh, the name Under the Bridge is so fantastic because with, with Under the Bridge, it means so many different things, you know, bridging this. Okay, uh, my name is Marge Guerra, and I am involved with Under the Bridge through my association with Roman Villarreal, Maria Villarreal, and a number of the other people who are working on this. Um, I am a long-standing community member, and 
as Roman feels, I feel that the arts bring a richness to everyone's heart and soul. And promotion of the arts means to me promotion of our future. If there were no arts, there would be no movies, there would be no video games for the kids. Football even is uh, encouraged by the arts and encouraged to support the arts due to the fact that it involves a lot of movement. Anything that we do in life from speaking publicly to working to running to athletics, everything else is touched by the arts in one way or another. If it's through writing, dance, music, theater, or the visual arts. So my involvement is always to continue to promote the arts in our community and to have our young people grow a better appreciation of the arts. Because through the arts, they can expand their horizons. I've seen it throughout my many years of working in arts and education. And I can see children's minds just begin to light up and to continue to grow and absorb and to start thinking outside of the box, which is what will always get everyone ahead of the game. Thinking outside of the box is what art is all about. So I hope to see a lot more of that. Hello, my name is Victor Montañez. I'm an artist. I've been a long time of some of the big names in the South Chicago art scene, like Roman Villarreal, his wife Maria, a few others. I'm here because of them. You know, we're one, one movement, one family. We don't really recognize any borders. He comes to the north side, I come to the southeast side. We both go west and east, you know, so it's one big movement of, of, of artists that have been um, leading the movement of resistance to the you know, um, homogeneous culture that has been promoted for years through the status quo. So we're trying to offer an alternative voice, not simply be decorations for to match a couch or to fit a wall or to fit a space but we actually have something to say these artists this collective of artists we have something to say and some people want to hear it as you can tell in the telephone and uh, I just gotta turn it off sorry about that but what's distinguishing about this group of artists Roman and um, people like myself is that we have something to say and it's usually counter to what is being said. you know people are selling idea selling uh, the idea of consumerism of just buying things will make you happy our art is uh, is counter to that we say that our wealth is our culture it's not a product it's uh, their ideas it's a way of life it's a status quo we see ourselves as artists that began our art long before we began our life. And we hope that our art will continue long after our life ends. So we see ourselves as part of a movement of resistance, of self-empowerment, of um, authentic democracy, and authentic free speech. So in my art, what I'm doing is, besides drawing and painting, I'm basically taking what uh, society is using as pitchmen, you know, mannequins. And they're usually telling you, wear these clothes and you'll, you'll be me. They even leave us faceless and headless, you know, just simply saying they wear the clothes, they wear the pants, they wear the fashion. What we're saying and what I'm saying here is that it's not the fashions. We could be naked. It's the ideas, it's the culture, it's the way of life that we're trying to promote. It's a different way of relating to one another. Not as I'm rich, you're poor, you're from here, you're from there, you're uh, Mexican, I'm white, I'm Spanish, you're Italian. Our, 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 our blood has no borders, you know, we're all of that. We're all uh, one part of the same race, the human race. And we know when products are not going to make us happier, you know, clothes are not going to make the man. Uh, fashion is not going to make the women. What counts is the way we relate to one another and where we contribute to our fellow man. That's what we're about. 
So that's how come we're all here. And we're still here, you know, even after it's fashionable or unfashionable, if it's trendy or untrendy, if it's a pop-up gallery or an established gallery, we'll still be here saying we promote justice, we promote community, we promote equality, and we're saying that no human is legal. Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Imi, Imi Melin. Um, the, puppy, the people know me like the Sharpie King. I do art with Sharpie markers. It's my, it's my strong uh, full-time I, I do yeah with Sharpie Marker. Uh, I am right now introduced my my last carnival number seven is over there uh, and este uh, my art all time I use uh, uh, geometric surrealism complex abstract everything in one on one and um, I remember five, six years ago when I start my when I introduced my first my first uh, carnival, I got a seven. Uh, my first uh, got a 100 sheet. Um, it's 20, 26 by 22. Uh, each row, there are five, 30, 30 rows. I'm long, long. And I remember in by este, uh, the people working in, on, on este Sharpie Markets Company, and they saw that carnival. They saw another carnaval, a little bit more small. They, they saw everywhere I got it, I got it art with Sharpie markers. And they, wow, wow. And I remember she said, the, the, the manager say, oh, you are the king, really, you are the king. Um, with that, uh, she, she is, the, is like, Sometimes my sponsor, because the first, the first uh, favor he she do, she did was is to put one website in internet for me. Uh, you you in a Sharpie markers, uh, the blog, the blog the Sharpie markers, and I am I, I am there meet the Sharpie King. I, 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 I am my story, uh, um, a picture from that that job. And a lot of, lot of pictures too. And, and the people wanna send one comment for me. Uh, they are right now got a 29 uh, este, uh, comments. And that, that's fine, I feel good because, because, because uh, many times the, the people, uh, hey, I love you, yeah. you, you, you are strong, uh, you are heavy. Uh, you remember uh, because because me are me remember a Picasso, re remember a Dalí, remember a, a, a why no a Michelo, a, a este a Da Vinci. I got a la suppers. I got I got a two la suppers, big ones, one Christ and the twelve apostles. Crazy, crazy because because. Right now, I show 12 Apostles right now. Two days, full time. How long does the panel? Two days. Two days? For, for one panel, two days full. You're getting join because I'm going to be very surprised. You know, I can't I can't wait for the event to start because I'm really curious how many people are going to come join us because uh, this is our first time and I'm kind of nervous about the whole thing. So if we get about maybe a good 50 people, I'll be happy. But uh, uh, like I said, with all shows that we have ever done, it's always a gamble. So I'm really hoping that we have a really good turnout tonight. But like I said, we're gambling and
Good evening, my name is Maria Villarreal. Welcome to Under the Bridge. This is an art show wanting to uh, let all the neighborhood, South Chicago and the east side, aware of the artists that are around the surrounding area on this side of town. We have a very beautiful show and we hope you enjoy it. Thank you. That's right. Somebody was telling me about the interview Mark was telling me about the interview. Yeah. 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 I'm <laughs> 